Ah, so here we are and here we are, September the 12th of uh, 2019, <laughs> St. Albans, Hertfordshire, England. Something of beauty. <laughs> I borrowed it. <laughs> Bad boy. The wild English rose. No scent. The passage is uh, from John. Chapter 15. The vine and the branches. I am the true vine. And my father is the gardener. <clears throat> he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit of itself, by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Amen. Now, blessedly I am in Christ. Christ is in me. The love of God through Christ is in me. This is St. Peter's churchyard. It's a lovely spot. The world is awash with ill doing, the wrong doings of man, mankind, men and women, children, everyone. But, so one could say that's the work of the devil. The old devil ultimately has no hold on anyone who truly loves God through Christ. And he doesn't like it, the old devil. Nor do human authorities, actually. <laughs> as in China. They want you all to bow and scrape to, you know, jolly old Xi Jinping fellow, the current despots, a pretty strong word, but I don't know what you call them. In England, we have this beauty of freedom of speech. One is at liberty to speak pretty much on any subject in any not hateful, unpleasant stuff, but on profound subjects which may be challenging to the authorities. I mean, John Wycliffe, who was the first to translate the Bible uh, from the Vulgate Latin into English so ordinary people could actually read it, uh, the Gospels especially, about 1384 is the date that comes to mind. Uh, now, I'm not sure, but I, he came very close to being, you know, martyred for it, because the powers that be didn't want the ordinary people to 
have access to God's Word. The beauty of being a Christian is our relationship is a personal one between one's own self and God. That. Not mediated by saints or anyone else or priests or vicars or whatever. No. It is a personal relationship between oneself and God. Loving God through Christ guided by that and that alone. Amen.